The dating app Bumble is giving it all its workers uh, bees really a break this week. The company has closed its offices as a thank you to staff, with one employee saying the CEO had picked up on a sense of collective burnout. It's something in sharp focus during the work from home era. One study says more than a quarter of Americans never prioritize personal commitments over work. More than half of managers also want to take, uh, want staff to take time off just to avoid burning out. And more than a third of people surveyed want a new job after the pandemic because of their work-life balance. Let's get more on this. Claire Sebastian joins me now. And Claire, I can just imagine if Richard was here, Richard Crest was here, he'll be rolling his eyes and saying, surely a week is not not enough to solve this problem. <laughs> well, no, I mean, he said he would be right. It's not, but it is a start. And I think the point here is, is for management at companies like Bumble and, and other companies, because burnout, of course, is not limited to this one workplace, to show that, that they're listening and they're aware. One, one aspect that we see coming up in studies on the sort of work from home shift over the pandemic is that, that management have been unaware of the challenges that some of their staff are, are feeling simply because they haven't been able to see them. So look, Bumble says this is something for, for, for all of their 700 plus employees. It's a chance for them to sort of rest and recover after 15 months of living through a pandemic. And they say this is a thank you for their hard work and resilience. And of course, we know it's been a very busy time for, for Bumble in particular. They went public in February, which is no small undertaking. They've seen really astronomic growth rates through the pandemic in the first quarter of this year. User growth, paid users were up 30%. So a very busy time, something that clearly they will welcome and something that this employee in, the, in that then deleted tweet called a big deal. So, you know, something that they're welcoming. But it's very different from some of the stories from some of the in different interests you've been hearing, Claire. You and I were talking just last week about how the finance sector, uh, Wall Street's going a very different way. Do you think this is something they'll catch on? You know, I think companies are having to set out their store, Issa, uh, along, along the lines of, of what they're going to do post-pandemic. Will there be a hybrid work strategy some days in the office, some not? Will employees be able to choose or will they go the way of some of the Wall Street banks, the likes of Goldman Sachs and, and Morgan Stanley, and say, look, we really think that everyone should be back in the office at least by Labor Day. It, it's something that, that will determine ultimately, uh, you know, where some employees want to, to seek jobs. It's going to be a determining factor in this labor market, along with, you know, wages and benefits. So I think this is a new era. Hybrid work is potentially here to stay. Claire Sebastian, thanks very much, Claire. Good to see you.